guys, how you doing? Uh, breaking news, we just got Randall Cobb. And uh, I couldn't be more happy about that. I got a friend here who I think he's pretty happy too. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm definitely happy about this signing for sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got him. And uh, it ain't no joke. I mean, I think it's a one-year, $5 million deal, right? Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, for everybody just joining in, Cowboys got uh, Randall Cobb wide receiver and uh you think he'll work best as a slot receiver yeah i definitely think he's gonna solidify himself as a starting slot receiver in this dallas cowboys offense obviously cole beasley leaving to the bills uh leaving a gap open at the slot receiver spot some people were saying alan hearns and Tavon austin but he didn't think they could be consistent enough throughout the whole season and i think randall cobb brings exactly that to the table being consistent making big plays and he's gonna definitely solidify himself as a slot receiver i think he should, should uh definitely start as slot receiver i think he can get some plays um on the outside first time receiver i really like this signing a lot gonna help us a lot yeah i i agree um Okay, let's see. Cole Beasley has left the chat. <laughs> he's only 28. Yeah, Randall Cobb. He's uh, not that old. He's 28. Oh, this hurts. Aaron freaking Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers, man. is uh, Those Packers ain't going to be as good next year. I think uh, this could also hurt them. Cowboys can finally beat the Packers. Yeah, we're going to beat the Packers next year. What You think we are? Do we play them next year? Yeah, I, I th think we do. Yeah, I think it's at Dallas. Oh, I didn't see them in the schedule, but if we do play them, we're definitely going to beat them because the um, last time we played them in the playoffs and in the 2017 regular season, it was like an offensive battle, and obviously we know what our defense is now, so definitely right. we're going to beat them for sure. Jerry Jones finally did something this offseason. Well, here's the thing. The Cowboys have done a lot through the draft, but usually the teams that don't sign huge free agents are the teams that really do good in the playoffs. You mean, I, I mean, um, you see a lot of teams go out there, sign big name free agents. They don't do as good. Uh, then you have guys like the Patriots being quiet, you know, not doing as much. Hmm. Hmm. They get guys from Walmart all the time, so. You know, um, he'll be a good slot guy. He's a good teammate. Hopefully, he doesn't have any injury issues. I don't think he will. I think he'll be um, pretty good this season. Um, you know, we definitely have Amari take some pressure off of him. This really takes a lot of pressure off of the offense, you know. Um, what's your favorite part about the signing? Um, my favorite part about the signing is probably just that Randall Cobb can pretty much play the inside and outside. Um, obviously, um, where Amari plays is number one receiver and two, but he can also play slot, and I think he's definitely going to play slot the most, and he's, he's, special, he's uh, special at slants and bubble screens and deep balls, and we really needed that, so I definitely think this is a great signing, and I'm really excited to um, see what he brings to Dallas. But I have another thing to say. Um, obviously, um, Cobb left uh, Dallas yesterday without signing a contract, and so did Eric Perry. So, Cowboy fans watching this, um, don't lose your hope about that we're not going to sign Eric Perry because they both left without signing a contract. And I've just signed, so I think we definitely still have a possibility to sign Avery Well, to me, I'd rather have uh, Clayton. I think it's Clayton Gathers. He's uh, two years younger uh, than Eric. Uh, two years younger, I believe, than Eric Berry. I'm not sure on that. He, uh, no, he's 26. Eric Berry is going to be 31, I believe. Um,. And Eric Berry also wants ten million dollars. So, yeah, is Cobb better than Cole Beasley? He, in some ways, yes. In some ways, no. Speed, yes. Size, yes. 
Um, I haven't seen enough on Randall Cobb to really say he's better than the GOAT, Cole Beasley. Because I, I still love Cole Beasley, but uh, yeah, he probably is. Uh, should we draft a receiver in the second round or take some pressure off? No, I'm I'm all set with uh, uh, another receiver. I mean, we got we do have Alan Hearns, Tavon Austin, you know, um, Cedric Wilson, like someone said, um, I believe on my Instagram. Um, now all you need is a couple safeties, Cowboys. Oh yeah, uh, I think we get at least one. Will be a little bit better off, you know. I think, yeah, I think the Randall Cobb is a prove-it deal, you know, uh, so he can prove himself uh, to us and everything. So, um, you know, I'm just hoping that it'll work out, you know, it wasn't a waste of $5 million, but I don't think it will. I think uh, Randall Cobb, I think he'll do pretty good. So, um, any final words? No, I'm just really excited. Signing your Cowboy fans, leave your opinions on the Randall Cobb signing down in the comments. All right, well, thank you all for tuning in, man. Thank you so much, Dallas Cowboys. We got a great receiving core. Ain't said that for a while. You know, this uh, kind of reminds me of uh, Irvin Harper, you know, and then a couple of other little guys in there. You know, we had a pretty great receiving core back in the 90s. And um, we're starting to get a pretty good receiving core this year. I think part of our problem offensively was the receivers until we got Mari. And I think we'll be a little bit better uh, this year. I mean, we do have Gallup, too. So we'll have to wait and see. Not a bad idea to replace Cole Beasley again.